Hey guys, it's me, Pi. I'm back with another video today. Um, it's more of the... It's uh, from the same session, this gameplay footage here, of, uh, of me playing zombies. So, uh, this is towards the end of the uh, session I had, because uh, around... like uh, Once I hit like around 31, I like decided to... I ended up screwing myself unintentionally, so... Um, yeah, uh, there's the gameplay for now. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I want to do another session of uh, zombies because, like, it take it honestly takes a bit out of you to sit there for that long. But I think it's just because my chair and my setup is just so fucking uncomfortable. But um, we're gonna get into today's topic today, and it's the, the fact that I just seen that there that there just seems to be a lot of leaks going around these days, and it's not just for games too. Um, I see it from, I've seen leaks from everything from the next two fucking COD games, the, the, the new Modern Warfare game, I, I refuse to call it Modern Warfare 2 because it just doesn't seem right, but um, the next Black Ops game too, Starfield, that big, that big RPG that's supposed to be, com that's supposed to be coming from fucking Bethesda would, at some point, um, and I'm a huge fan. Like, Bethesda fan, uh, the uh, Elder Scrolls games are like my baby. I really wish they would just, like, scrap Starfield and just go on, move on to Elder Scrolls 6, but I digress. Um, even Apple's having a lot of leaks. Uh, it's just really weird seeing, like, a lot of leaks from Apple, because usually Apple's a pretty tight-knit when it comes to this, to this type of stuff. But, like, they pretty, pretty much their entire product line got leaked. And it's quite frankly astonishing to me. Like, I remember, like, back in the day, and I'm talking, like, 2014, 2015, when I was in high school, like, these types of leaks would happen, like, maybe every once in a while. Like, I mean, like, they're, like, maybe, they're, maybe be, like, one or two leaks on the next iPhone, or uh, one or two leaks on the next, uh, on the next Call of Duty, or the, uh, or uh, even Need for Speed games back then, because I'm also a huge Need for Speed fan. But, like, I even remember, like, during, like, the hype train for, like, Fallout 4, there were, like, Maybe I think like the biggest leak that ever came out of that um, was that leak on a um, a certain adult-oriented website, <laughs> like like right before Gamescom. That's like the only like huge leak I can think of for like Fallout Four. And I think uh, there was also like a story, like a major story spoiler, like for like the main quest line at some point as well, like right before the game launched. But yeah, it. The amount of leaks I, like, see for everything these days is quite insane. Like, I even, like, remember, like, the, like, the Toyota Corolla, like, the new Corolla GR, um, the one where they shoved that, where they shoved the GR Yaris motor in, yeah, like, that car was, like, talked about and rumored, and then a couple leaks, like, one or two leaks here and there for that car, and now the car's, and we now know the car's a real thing. So, like, it's, it's like, all these, these uh, this epidemic of leaks just seems to be hit, hitting every industry, and it's really weird. Um, I almost feel like the people working for these companies are just not giving a shit anymore. Like, especially given, like, the current state of the world, a lot of people are probably deciding to just, like, rip up their NDA contracts, so to speak, and just, and just leak everything that they're working on. Uh... Uh, I was watching a video from Mr. Maddie Plays a while back, and there were some really, there were some really like detailed leaks about the gameplay before of Starfield before it was ever like revealed to anyone. Like very very detailed leaks on on 4chan of all websites, and I'm beginning to think that these people just don't get paid enough, or maybe they're like. Or maybe they're doing it to enact some sort of change from the community before the before the game or the product releases to make sure there's to make sure nothing make sure people aren't like disappointed and like and uh sorry excuse me um I just have to wonder like why why the hell are there so many leaks and sometimes I even feel like it's a marketing strategy it's to a certain extent for some companies like I remember like. Uh, going back to the Apple example again, like before uh, WWDC last year, or this year, yeah, it was this year. Um, they were they were like like the entire like show got leaked like the day before, so everything they were announcing in that in that in at that WWDC was revealed, which was really weird for me to see. 
And like, there's even things getting leaked that sh really shouldn't be getting leaked. Like the, like the, uh, the uh, recent Supreme Court ruling that just got the, that everyone's up in arms about. I'm not gonna mention it, but you all know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm pretty sure leaking stuff like that's a federal crime. But yeah, no, I don't know, man. I'm just like, maybe I'm noticing it more now that I'm older and I keep up with the news a lot more than I used to when I was a teenager and like coming out of high school and all that. But like, I just find it incredibly weird, incredibly strange that there's all these leaks coming out right now. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I got for today. I just thought I'd share this with you guys because I was watching a, uh, want to be a, uh, video from BT about the, uh, about the, about the Modern Warfare 2 leaks that happened like over a week ago. And I'm just like, God damn, there are so many leaks going around. Um, anyways, that's all I got for now. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, peace out.